So I think I've... I think you've already seen this thing. I just had this thing out as a test to see if it'll fit in those top ones, how or how it'll fit. And I could fit a lot of those in there if I wanted to. So they're just basic shuttles. Have a closer look at this thing. Basically, any ship that lands on the planet, I put one of these on. Let's see here. Uh, I got one on each side. That side light. I don't even think I have lights on there right now. That activates a big hangar door. Because there's no way to get into the ship from the ground level without using your jetpack or backing this thing up to a ramp or whatever. So I, I built that. Left most of this same, added a reactor or two. Close that. Changed a couple of these doors to these uh, air locks. Changed this to this cockpit or pilot seat so that screen isn't in the way, so you can see a lot better when landing. rest of it's pretty well the same. Yeah, I left all that the same. Had a weird bug here that it wouldn't let me... There was no oxygen getting to the seat, so I threw a vent right there and that fixed the problem. And then this area... I think I changed a little bit here. What did I change? Oh yeah, the doors. Out of those two exiting doors. What's that? Shutter open and close. I don't remember what that's for. Oh, that's for the, uh... Yeah. See, this is extending. So when you get close to another ship, you can extend that to their platform or whatever. Let's bring that back in so I don't forget about it. Yeah, the animation is a little funny, the animation mod. I think that's everything. I think I changed the outside just a little bit. Yeah. Not too much. Just the main, mainly the guns. Added some intake vents. Right there, to intake air when you're on the planet. Changed those, I think, to the tier 2 thrusters. Yeah, on that one mod. Let's look at this thing. This thing's probably one of my favorite ships. It's a respawn ship from a different pack, from a respawn ship mod. Added a bunch of solar panels. The only complaint I had with this ship is there is no... I think, I think it was this one. Yeah, there's no reactor. Yeah, it was battery powered with no reactor and no solar panels. So I thought to myself, well, if this is a respawn ship, that means you'd have to quickly find a way to build a reactor. It had no landing gear, so I added some landing gear. I wish there was a retractable landing gear. Added this. Laser antenna. Left a lot of it in the same. Except for this little neck area. I added one of these boarding ramps. I can open and close here when it's on planet. And added one of these air locks. Bring it to one of these cockpits. I think I changed something up here. Yeah, there was an empty area there, so I put that little bed there. I think that's it. That's all I changed on that. Oh, and I can lift and lower the ramp from this button. It's a little finicky. So the ramp's up, can't really see it. So you gotta remember to do that before going through the, the door. Makes it great for landing on planets. That ramp should be, like, part of the game. Uh, don't know if you... 
have I've shown this at all. You've seen different, definitely uh, variations of this. But this is kind of the final version, which still needs work. I'm gonna tackle it again sometime. When I'm done that ship, I'm gonna tackle this again and kind of smooth out some of the design looks. Make it look a lot better. Quick tour of inside, if I can get in there. I gotta modify some things. I'm not a big fan of these anymore. I did put them in. Thought they were great. But that area is just. I have no idea what that is. That area is here right, right now. It was kind of like a second bridge, and I'm like, oh, what's the point? I got this area. Probably gonna modify it so I can put some screens in here too see everything. This thing is 16 million kilograms. <laughs> I think the... it does slow down the game a lot. Pretty sure it's got less triangles than that other ship. Because the big guy down here... I think it's this side. Yeah, the big guy. I haven't got a name for it yet, but... nowhere near as heavy as this thing. That's because I built this thing partly out of heavy armor. In fact, I had the whole thing out of heavy armor. Tried landing it on the planet and crash landed. It does land on the planet now. Had to change some of the stairs because the stairs I had had no textures. There's the one uh, hangar bay. I'm going to modify those doors too. Super, super complicated, wide open kind of engineering room. Had to modify those, uh, the reactors, put those reactors in because the ones I had before was not producing enough power. This thing's only got two jump drives. Uh, medical bay. Cryo bay. I have no idea where what is, this is. <laughs> room? The chair room. The room of many chairs. Sorry if I'm going too fast, too. I'm just trying to get everything taken care of. Got these nice doors. Separating the front area. This is basically a parking spot where there'd be uh, vehicles in this area too, just vehicles and crown landers and all that. Because this this ship's more for landing on landing on planets and becoming like a temporary base. And of course, I added uh, some nice ramps. down and are accessible using these. That's pretty well this whole ship. A lot of work went into this one. Constantly changing it. Hey, what's the next thing I'm going to show you? Oh yeah, this little guy. This little guy is one of my favorite designs that I've ever done. This is the most complicated design I've ever done. But it's got all three types of uh, thrusters. For whatever situation. Nice wide open window area. And the condor. That's what I named it. Same thing, got the ramps. But click that, depressurizes the inside. Normally those are supposed to come on, I had them on beforehand. 
and that opens up. That way you can open it up in space. No gravity when I go over here? Oh yes there is. Yeah, the same buttons here. Close that. A little screen here telling me everything's leaking. I had something on there, I don't remember what it is though. Is there air coming in here? Yeah, they're all neat. Except for the bathroom. <laughs> Let's go check out the bathroom. Just a simple bathroom. Look out the window while you do your business. I did have a screen there. Why that's doing that? Close that. Just a simple little ship for landing on planets and flying around. A little shuttle. Jump drive. I put a jump drive in everything. A little, little factory system too. And of course, jump that comes on. What's that button? A lot of toggles that on and off. You can fit a couple people in here. Main pilot seat. Got all your screens in front of you. It's a fun ship to fly around. It's one of the few designs I'm actually almost fully happy with. If I can get things to stop leaking, which I think it has something to do with the windows. But I'll have to double check everything. Eventually. Yeah. Bridge vent leaking, everything's leaking except for the bathroom vent. That's the only one that's sealed. And I have a feeling it has something to do with all these angles. I had some problems with it. There should be something that, you know, lets you know where it's leaking. Let's open that. I think that closes this door. Yeah, it closes this door up too. Depressurizes. Blinks the light, makes an awful noise. And then it opens. Oh. What's that? That's pretty well it for that. I put solar panels on everything because if you run out of power, at least you can angle your ship towards the sun and start charging up your batteries. So that's it for those ones. Now let's look at my space station. This one should be instantly recognizable. I took the space station that was on the asteroid, copied it, and I modified the heck out of it to make it more survival ready. A bunch of solar panels pointed towards roughly where the sun is. I think I was making one that moves. Oh no, that was on another. That is down there on the planet. I think it's this one, right? Yeah. And oxygen generators. I don't even know what everything is. Let's look at this first. This is another respawn ship, part of that pack with that uh, bright green one right there that I renamed the Prelude. I forget what it was named. Uh, I forget what it was named. This one was named the Ray Drop Ship or whatever. So I've kind of did a little bit of modifications to it. Uh, I've added uh, landing gear for one thing. These big solar collectors. A uh, few lights changed uh, this because this used to have a vent as the only way up because it would land flat on the bottom. And I didn't like that very much. Added the antenna because these didn't have antennas. This one can't fly in space. It's only at atmosphere. But added this as usual. And some landing lights. Small landing lights. Close the ramp. 
airlocks. I think I left everything else the same, including this. I thought I changed that to the other seat, but everything else is left the same. I don't think I did much modifying in this actual station. It's mostly things like this docking clamp. Which is actually a merge block, I found out. I quit the accident when I docked my... What is it? Giz Gizmo? When I docked Gizmo to it, I had this thing uh, set as... It would only be sturdy when you're connected to a asteroid. So both ships went flying everywhere, and broke, and caused a mess. I think this is all... I closed off areas. I made everything. There was no oxygen in this uh, station. So everything has oxygen now. Found all the leaks. Modified this area a bit. I think I changed, yeah, worked on this door a bit. So that blast door can close. Uh, more air, air locks. Back up, so I can go back through there. No, oh, let me through the door. Yeah, put vents in every every room. That was fun to wire up or get all the tubes going to the right spot. Uh, I tried putting one of those uh, modded elevators here. Did not work. Of course, a piston drive one, and I won't touch pistons. Not until they're guaranteed to not blow up my creation whatsoever. So up here, got an access to outside here. Access to the little control room, which I haven't done much with. Might have added a few more windows, I'm not sure. Or lights or something. Whee! Fast way down. Uh, that's still a medical bay. Added a airlock here. Obviously, is not equalizing the air. For whatever reason. So I've got all of them on. I had like this airlock that leads out to there. An emergency uh, door to close that off. Added the doors here. This door that separates the other side. Go again. Damn jetpack. Maybe because it hasn't been in the game long enough. Kind of just spawned it. This is just a viewing area. It used to be the tunnel. So I cut and pasted it. Added a big door there. That's pretty well it. I'm gonna keep working away at that big ship. Um, I go down to the planet and show you my big solar collector, but it's a long ways down. <laughs> Could just always die and respawn down there, but oh well. I can't tell you what mods I've got activated because I've got uh, a lot of mods activated. I go through my mods all the time to see which ones aren't being updated or if they change something in the game. If it's updated to DirectX 11. Which everything is now, so whatever isn't, I don't have that mod. Yeah, I'm going to keep working on this. Um, 
you like what you see or want to see more of one of these ships, let me know in the comments. And uh, have a good night, or day, or whatever it is where you are. Here it's night, so have a good night. Thank you.